This game has mature, very mature content. Blood, gore, sexual shit, I don't know. Um, viewer discretion is advised. Titties. So, welcome everybody to a game that I saw and I was very curious about. Um, this game is called Downfall. It's not the movie, but this game looks really, really good. So, uh, let's get it going. Great. The storm is coming. Oh, that's uh freaky. Um, I like I like the music so far. Downfall. Creepiness awaits. This is a horror game, a point and click horror game, by the way, just to let you guys all know. I'm oh, gonna probably see some like badness, but let me just turn down this game just a little bit. Okay. Joe, are we home yet? Where are we? Joe? They're coming. They're coming for you. What? Come on, Ive. Just get out of just get out of the car already. But Joe, can't you see what's happening? We're falling down, falling into an endless space like drops of blood. That's all right. Hey, Ives? Ives? I'm going to find a doctor very soon. At least as soon as we can find a way out of this town. There got to be someone in this hotel. My phone just went off. I'm so bad. Maybe we'll stay for the night and call the doctor. It's raining blood, Joe. How beautiful. Come with me, Ive. They might be able to help us. I have blood all over my dress shoes, Joe. This girl says Joe a lot. My dear, dear dress. Dress. Do you think it's okay if I just lie down? Yeah, bitch. Okay. Move the character using the keyboard arrows or left clicking on a place you want to go. Uh. Oh shit, and name give me. Oh, see, I'm areas. Okay. Uh, car. Can't leave now. So you're telling me I can't buy cigarettes here? This, that's ridiculous! I thought all hotels sold them. And now, I'm in the storm and I won't even find any shops still open? I'm really sorry. We have a specific smoking policy, and it's not allowed on the premises. Screw your policy. I'm paying a, I'm a paying customer. I will check out in the morning and find a better hotel. One sells cigarettes if guests run out. I hope you sleep well tonight. <laughs> She's running in curiosity. Okay. Called up this bitch. Substance. Hello. Hello, sir. Uh, my name is Joe Davis. My wife, Ive, needs to see a doctor as soon as possible. Uh, we'd like to rent a room for the night. You're lucky, you're lucky, sir. We have one vacant room at the moment. Beautiful view, recently re refurbished, and got a bath. There are skeletons in the cellar, Joe. Please don't go in there, please. Hmm, are you alright? He's fine. Fortunately, he doesn't have a double bed. Two singles. Is that okay for you? That's okay. My name is Joe Davis. My wife, Ivy, needs a doctor as soon as possible. I'm afraid there's nothing we can do at the time of the evening. Holy shit, dude. Fuck. Crickets outside. I will close the window. We're done to shut up. We have a doctor staying in room 201, though. Practically lives here. Unfortunately, I'm under certain strict orders to not disturb him after 10 o'clock. We can probably help your wife, so please stay tonight and talk to him tomorrow. The sun and the moon, the internal battle of the life and death. It's okay, Ivy. Just be quiet now. The anger of the devil is upon us. Can't you see that? Hmm. I'll call... We'll call him Dr. Z. 
a gentleman, a German fella. I always, I can always call an ambulance, but in this storm, you know. I think we can wait until morning. Thank you. This town looks so empty. Where is everybody gone? All the tourists are gone this time of year. And the people who live here don't go out much. They tend to stay out in the trouble and mind their own business. A stormy, a stormy night like this probably rem reminds them of what happened in this town ten years ago. I can see that true face of dad. M Mother Mary, don't let me fall! <laughs> what happened then? Well, it was on the news all over the country. The local man who lost his mind killed five people with an axe. People called him the Dova Shrine Axeman? Yes, he decapitated five locals in one night, and I'm sorry, I didn't mean to frighten you two in a really lovely town apart from that. An obvious... Dr dr I, 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 fuck it. Axeman had been caught and given a life sentence. Nothing to worry about now. I see this place got some history then. Indeed. I'd worry more about this bloody brain if I was you. It's a shame you didn't come down last year when the Black Widow film studio was open. The place... Oh, God. Oh, God. Ugh. I heard rumors, but don't really understand why. Darkness all around me. Where the fuck are you, Joe? Where the fuck are you, Joe? I'm right here, Ives. Please, try to calm down. All right? I know it's not my business, but what is actually wrong with your wife? She's just stress. I apologize. She's just stress. I apologize for all of this. It's okay. I don't mind. You dirty bitch. <laughs> I, there are maggots crawling out of your mouth. We'll take the room. Lovely. The hotel's got four floors all together. I walked through the mud. My new shoes got dirty, dirt on them. Mom will be so angry. Please put it down. Put it fucking down! I don't mean to be rude, but please go and see Dr. Z tomorrow morning if you need some pills to calm this lady down. I'm sure he'll prescribe you something. After all, don't we all get a little stressed sometimes? Well, here's a room key. Room number 101. There's a lady staying in room 102 who doesn't like to be disturbed, so please give it down, alright? I understand the circumstances, but Mr... Goddamn, she... Wait, she should not be awkward. And please come down for breakfast at 8 a.m. Dining room is just down the, this corridor. Now oh, let's go to dining room. Okay, there's no one in here. This place is really empty. Kitchen door. A fallen angel. I'm not here to move pitch pitchers around. Their case. Maybe I should use a lift in the lobby. Oh, there's a... Question is? Lift. Wait, am I on floor four? Probably three. Oh, the room is on the first floor. Door's locked. Okay. Can't use the room key with the room. Oh my god. What's happened to me, Joe? I've known something's been really wrong with my head since we left London, but I have no control over it. You've been staying all... You've been saying all these strange, horrible things I've... It's happening a few times before we... Never like this. I think you're just tired. You should just get some sleep, okay? <laughs> I hope you're having a good time pay playing the stupid psychotic bitch in front of everyone. Oh my god. I think you're just tired. You should <laughs> get some sleep, okay? And that's your solution to this? I'm going fucking nuts, Joe. 
and you want you want me to sleep if you're re if if this is reality i'm dreading to think about my dreams would be like you've been saying all these strange horrible things i have it's happening a few times before but never but never like this but i'm okay now aren't i i think i blacked out i was dreaming there was a dead, fat woman in my dream who only wished to kill herself, but she couldn't do it. There was a lot of music and people, voices calling me. And in the end, there was only darkness. It was warm and safe. It wasn't really... I try to put your head down for a while in the morning. Try to put your head down for a while in the morning. We'll go downstairs and get something to eat, okay? Haha, -ha. we might. If I wake up, you mean. I'm so tired of this. We're going to be okay. The doctor will examine you tomorrow. Who's Dr. Z? Who the hell is Dr. Z? Maybe he's fucking Dr. Z. <laughs> For sworn, a movie clown. I don't want to... I don't want no fucking doctor. I don't want you either. All this holiday, this bloody silly attempt to save our marriage. Let's say it's loud and clear, Joe. Come on, you say it. Please, we shouldn't be too loud. That woman. Say it. You don't know what you're talking. Say what? I knew it. You have got have no guts to admit you don't love you. We don't love each other anymore. You want you wouldn't not even admit that we're happy to see that you're double bed in this room. We've grown cold, cold as a grave. Okay, I say it. There is no love. Our marriage has been dead for months. Good. So we're over the bridge now. Not only how I feel, but how you feel as well. As soon as this is over, I'm leaving you. We're going to be better for both of us. So that's then. That is then. This stupid hotel is where we end it all. I don't want to talk about it now. Let's get some... This is it. The stupid hotel is where we end it all. I think I need to lie down, Joe. We'll talk about it later. I don't bloody miss your breakfast. I don't even bloody miss your breakfast. I don't care about the fear about the fucking breakfast. Why not? You might as well go together. Play happy family one last time. It's my dream. In my dreams I always visit this place. A place of happiness. The Burma There reminds me of my childhood. No one can reach me here and no one can hurt me. This is the battlefield, which my Anxiety, die, dead, wait, what? This is my pillar of reality. This brings peace to my fucking fucked up life. As long as I dream, nothing bad can happen, can it? What the fuck? Ive? Ive? Where is she? She must have gone downstairs to get breakfast, but... I don't... Why didn't she wake me up? Better find her. Painting. No. Ground floor. What the fuck? Good morning. Did you sleep well? It's nice to see you, Mr. Davis. What the hell's going on here? Where's all these dead bodies? Here. <laughs> so many questions. So little I have to say. All of them at our hotel guests have came here to enjoy the breakfast, Mr. Davis. Are you a mad woman? They're, f they're fucking dead. What's the matter with you? So they are dead. Aren't we all? They still come here, though. Every morning. And every night. Where's my wife? Oh, she wanted me to pass the message. You said she'd t take breakfast upstairs for you. Did you get your breakfast, Mr. Davis? She couldn't. I haven't seen her since last night. Well, she also met your neighbor, Sophia. They left the dining room together, and that Sophia, she quite a charmer. Big lady, but she's definitely got the special something. They seem to have hit it off quite well. I assume they're together in Sophia's room right now talking. I don't want to say anything at the time, but um, our Sophia isn't exactly the best person to make friends with. That this woman can hurt my wife? 
Why is everyone so... I don't get it. Are you saying that this woman can hurt my wife? Well, I never said it. Sophia can be a bit weird. She had a difficult life, you know. But she's really sweet. I don't think any bad, anything bad could, ha ha could happen, but... But what? I really don't want to say it, but I will if you insist. Tell me. I will. Last... Last time I invited someone to her room, I had to pick the poor girl's pieces off the floor for a few, couple days. So that... So now... So you know how hard is it to wash the blood off the carpets? You stupid bitch! You should have told me that earlier! Why didn't you warn me? You should have stopped, stopped them. You should have done something. I'm sorry, Mr. Davis. I don't like to get involved. You. If anything happened to Ive, I'll find you and you twisted bitch. I'm going upstairs and eat my breakfast. And if my, my wife isn't there, I'll come back and make you regret this. I'm going to go... I don't think I have it. I told you not to wake her up, didn't you? So please get off, get off, okay? And enjoy your breakfast. Oh, I've got something for you. Your wife asked me to give you this letter. Take it, Mr. Davis. I heard you shouting last night. You know, relationship problems. Oh dear. I hope it's nothing serious. Dear Joe, I didn't want to wake you up, so I went downstairs on my own. You don't have to worry. I'm eating again. There's no need to watch me all over, all the time like you do. As I'm sat here at the table, I can't stop myself thinking, what's going on? What's going to happen to us? I try to understand that you were just worried about me and tried to save me for starving myself to death. I know, I've been a silly bitch, but after everything we've gone through, there's this wall between us. We just don't connect anymore. Maybe it's my fault. Fair enough, things happen. But what if this is the end for us? Will you let me go? Will you just erase me from your life forever? I don't know myself any... I, I don't know myself what this... You see, life is nothing but a dream. Nothing in life really matters. What we say, what we do, what we see. It only matters that we hear the existence, the closeness. Knowing that I, when I draw my breath, you drew, you draw yours next to me. And you've taken it all away from me. It became an energy show, accessory, a stupid point you have to prove. I might be crazy sometimes, but deep inside, deep inside, I still love you, Joe. Damn. That's, that's deep. And how deep is it? I'm gonna stop it right here, and we're gonna continue this. Probably after this recording, I just wanna have part one just set in. So, I'll see you guys later, and uh, bye bye.